everyone, and welcome to the Power Nine Podcast. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts, alongside the future pro of Yamput. Hey guys, that was energetic. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> morning, Alfian. Morning. Yeah, uh, this morning we're starting a little bit late because I forgot the keys. Oh, so strange. Like I left the house, so now I have two sets of keys. One which is a, a lot lighter. It's only got like two keys and a keychain. Okay. Uh, but it's got the R two D two keychain. So I oh. like that a lot. I like it a lot. You know what I did when I had like the store keys with me? What? I just changed it to what I normally have. So they have one huge key. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's what I did. And because uh, my office, well, we used to be at um, uh, another place where you had to lock the door. You had to physically lock the doors. Okay. So that, that became my like everyday go out key set, which was like humongous. It was like, I think, eight or nine keys oh, yeah, all yeah. put onto a bunch. So that was ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I finally get to like use a small set of keys because now we just use like cards to like tappy tap. Beep, 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 yeah, and now right. random assassins can knock you out and take your cards and just tap randomly. Oh yeah, just tap and then you get into <laughs> the office. Oh yeah. Uh, still yeah, still so. that important information, man. Yeah, still all that classified documents. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling today, man? Okay. Okay. It's very, very okay. Very okay. All right. That's it's, one of the more, it's one of the more okay things. Yeah, one of, yeah, of yeah. the more okay days I had. Yeah. Feeling good? Uh, okay. It's okay. Yeah. My back, my, uh, my back gave out this morning. Ouch. Again. Ouch. So yeah, I'm hurting, hurting a little bit, but I'm, you know, taking my painkillers. Okay. Getting a little bit high. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're listening to the Power Nine Podcast every week. You can find new episodes. Powernipodcast dot com. I'll uh mtgcast dot com as well as on iTunes. This week is all about spoilers. Yes. I know we we've, we've been we've been putting it back because we miss like a few weeks. Yeah, we don't normally podcast. do spoilers nowadays. Yeah, we, I don't like to do because it. we have actual content now. Yeah, we we actually do stuff. Like last week we were talking about what were we talking about last week? Or oh, the metamorphosis stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. And well you know, we're, we're coming out with more interesting topics to talk about. Uh and you know, generally more stuff, uh, you know, more things that we can just goof off on. Yeah. Yeah. But uh spoilers spoilers is serious stuff, man. Yeah, like it's very too, very too very serious. Yeah, exactly. It's like just too too. Um so yeah, let's get into it. But before we do that, every week we start off the episode with our week in magic. Yeah. So, Alfian, how was your week in magic? My week, actually, okay, so my week in magic, this is how it went. Don't I, play. I, I didn't play magic, but I saw someone play magic. Oh, you were, yeah, you were watching uh, the, um, you were casting on Tuesday. Usually yeah. that's my slot, but I got, you know, I got held up at work. Uh, oh yeah. no, I didn't get held up. <laughs> I was just lazy. I didn't want to come down. Uh, so how was uh, the the standard cast? It was okay. It was very okay. It was what I expected from it, from standard, I guess. Really? Yeah. Okay. Madhu Vikos versus Madhu Vikos. How's the meta game? How's the uh, you know? There's a green black. There's Madhu Vikos. I didn't see my favorite deck, Blue Which White is? Flash. Blue White Flash. Nobody played Blue White Flash. Yeah, but I don't know why it's my favorite deck, but no one plays it. But That's boring. There's a lot of uh. What did Tima Energy though? Yeah, so strange, right? Like Tima Energy is trying to you just hold on to that energy. Yeah, uh, you know, which is funny because yesterday, right? Uh-huh. One of my one of the the one, one, one of my friends you may not you will never see him on stream because he doesn't want to be on stream. Okay, it's Andrian Mango. Oh, okay, he he told me he's been testing online recently. Oh, oh and, uh, wow! He, okay. sa- he he said something. He tried something spicy, which is in main board. Which is uh either win basker no, either basker win no, no. <laughs> uh solemnity, four solemnity main board. What solemnity? No one gets counters. Huh? You can't get counters. No one can. Oh, get counters. okay, okay, okay yeah. right. He was he, what he's trying a cockatrice. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so ten out ten out of ten times uh, when he slams that they just scoop. Whoa! So yeah. what the energy deck can't do it can't do shit. Yeah. Wow. Not bad. So, so solemnity like, is going to be the the in thing now. Yeah, because energy decks just fold to that thing. They can't do shit. They just <laughs> like I scoop. 
Oh, you can't get anything from it, right? Yeah. Well, what's the... So I heard we modern now where you play a card and they can't do anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, Blood Moon. And or uh, Shelly's Shelly's of the Void. Or yeah. That free win red deck is, is just annoying. Yeah, so, so, so I'm t- I think is this free white free white win now? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Well, in standard. No, I don't think so. Because you still got your Madu vehicles. You still got... Uh, well, it was uh, free win against one deck. A free win against one deck, yeah. yeah. And then after that, you lose against everybody else. Yeah. So, yeah. That's how it works, right? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I also saw new new, pe- new players play Magic. There was this new player called Joe. Joe Fu? No, Joe Chan. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was, he's pretty nice. I, 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 told him, I told him I was going to teach him how to play draft, but I was really busy on the counter, so... And then he just went to draft by himself. Yeah, but he did. He did pretty okay actually. Oh, okay. I think he actually drafted well, but zero three. But I, yeah, I, yeah no. He drafted. Play. He drafted well, but he didn't play well. Okay. Because he's new, and he didn't. Yeah. He didn't know how to play around. So like. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but he picked the correct card. So that's. Oh. Yeah, I think that's important. Like yeah. that, that, that's the first step. But if he's new, right? Uh, which is a fantastic time to to bring him in because sealed deck is one of the best. Uh, you know. Sealed is the best format to teach new players how to play. Magic. Yeah, yeah. I also told. I, I somehow we coaxed him to play. Somehow we we, co- we cycled him to play draft because I told why. Co- no, no, it's not because we needed one extra player. <laughs> <laughs> also because I because felt because I also recalled my my good old days when I was when I was new at the game. I'm like, mm-hmm. I want to play against people on an even playing level. I think I will play draft. Okay. Then I convinced him. They're like, oh yeah, that sounds true. That sounds good. And he played draft. <laughs> well, to be fair, he lost on an equal playing level, so he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to feel bad about not having a good deck. Yeah. Did he open nice cards? No. Oh, okay. He opened. He opened a BFZ prize pack. Oh, and there was gruesome slaughter. <laughs> uh, why did he open BFZ? Why do you even suggest to him to open BFZ? He wanted. Open he wanted no, he wanted to see the scalding turns and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. No lottery that's pack. Not, that's not gonna happen, man. Yeah. It might. Uh you also were casting on Wednesday, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Modern yeah. and I surprise visit. Hello. Oh hello. And oh, uh, and to my surprise on the stream, lo and behold, was my uh oh, Esper deck. Spirit <laughs> deck. And uh you know, you put it in the hands of Benedict and He's new to modern. He's A, he's new to modern and B, you know, even in like standard, he's not the the most uh, he's not the sharpest player la. he's That's, okay uh, he's not the yeah he's okay he's just very okay yeah uh, wow but he he, you know he was going up against Meng Shen and he just uh, Meng Shen told me oh uh, he wrecked me <laughs> like uh, uh, okay that's cool that's cool I like the, I like the uh, Esper list then I like the idea of uh, a new player using this powerful deck to wreck seasoned <laughs> Rex, veterans yeah. uh, the one on stream that was really good uh, because uh, was that one his opponent cast uh, Snapcaster Mage and uh, Benedict had um, I love the I don't know of the rhetoric <laughs> and then you know and Ben was like he just pointed it out uh, no you can't cast the other you spell can't because bro. Uh, whoa man that whoa blow out man that was totally totally blowout uh, but he did draw uh, his opponent did draw like three uh, what you call it three um uh, uh, what's that card? Cryptic commands. You know, oh yeah. Uh, without him enjoying any of his counter spells or or such. So yeah. But he still won. Yeah, but he still he still won because why he had already two um what is drop score captains on the battlefield. So yeah. all his stuff, you know, you couldn't touch any of his things. Yeah, you never know. He could, he could draw like damnation or wrath of God. That's true. That's true. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so fun to watch. It was like. Mm. Cool. You oh, put wow. it in the hands of a new guy as well, and and it can. It's like a face. scrub scrub proof deck. It's a scrub proof deck. Maybe well, it's I'm almost scrub proof, lah. I I think you have to take very weird lines to get to yeah, where maybe, you maybe, go. And maybe you don't put it at four. Did he yeah. bring it? He did bring it up to four. Nah, I oh, know okay, some people okay. would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could fake your opponent. Yeah. What's, uh, what's at four even? Uh, Restoration Angel If you ever need it Oh okay yeah, yeah, If yeah. you ever needed Restoration Angel Like you put it up before But the deck doesn't play Restoration Angel That's so. true 
Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy to see like somebody's playing my deck. Yes, and uh, somebody actually doing well with the deck. Yeah. We. He went three zero. Yeah, he went three zero. Yeah, he went two. He went two zero split. Uh, yeah, but I think against the Tron matchup, I would just like wreck Tron. Really? It has main board. I think I got, I got main board like three ghost quarters. Oh. So yeah, you just have to keep a, a hand of ghost quarters and or one ghost quarter and then you just tempo your opponent out. Like easy game. Yeah, that's true. Actually no, it's, it's uh I, I, I think against Tron is like the only fifty fifty matchup. Maybe it's yeah. forty sixty. Uh in favor of Tron. Yes. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Hard to hard to deal with it. Yeah. You can't really spell quality uh won't call engine. No, you can't. Yeah, but you can, can spell peer stuff. Uh, I think post sideboard is is a bit better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Let us move on. Oh wait, do you play any more Magic? No, I definitely didn't play. <laughs> I play a lot of Final Fantasy. Let's go uh, play Final Fantasy after this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I quit Magic, people. I don't. <laughs> no way. I want to go eat. Want to eat lunch at home? Oh, you're going to eat lunch at home. Yeah. Let's play one game. One one fast game. Okay. Then. Let's go. Uh okay, so uh we're gonna get into the spoilers and there's a lot of stuff to cover because yeah, it's yeah. like a medium set. Uh, uh cool, cool stuff. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Mm. Uh we're taking off Mythic Spoiler if you wanna follow along and we're gonna go through we're just gonna go through the main page because we haven't been uh doing spoilers for a while. Through, yeah, for for a while. So this is the only episode with the spoilers and then maybe Give some ideas of uh, how to build your sealed deck for next week's pre-release. Oh, pre-release yeah. is next week! Yeah, can you believe it? It's so close. I want to play. I want to open uh, a pre-release for Nico Bolas. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that'll be sweet. That'll yeah, be that'll, sweet. that'll be sweet. Everybody wants a Locust God. I want Nico Bolas. Yeah, Locust God can die. I want Nico Bolas. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so let's talk about... We, we, we did talk about Nico Bolas before. Yeah. We did talk about Samud before. Yeah. Let's talk about the gods, the new gods. They're not indestructible. They're Grixis colored. Yeah, the multicolored Grixis colored. Uh, let's talk about Locust God. Locust God, the new hype, the, the new shits. Hype, 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 hype. Yeah, hype train on the Locust God. Yeah. Uh, six mana for four four flying. Whenever you draw a card, you create a one one blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. And then for four mana, draw a card and discard a card. And when then, when it dies, you return it to your hand. Uh. At the beginning of the next end step, which means that when it dies, you can probably you know you play. You probably get it back. Uh, you no, know, you can play a uh, scarab scarab nest. No scarab feast, scarab feast. Get rid of it oh, yeah. before it returns to hand. So yeah, yeah. There, there, there are ways to there are ways to do go the about th- it. Yeah. So yeah. This is a theme for all the gods, by the way. Returning it to your hand end of turn. Yeah, yeah. Which is okay. I think. I think I like the I like the this thematically and flavorful. I guess if you want to call it that. Yeah, they they die, then they come back. They die, then they come back. Because, uh, according, I think according to the story, this has happened a few cycles already, right? No, look. Okay, so this is what happened in the in the, in the thing. Nico Bolas, when he first came to the plane, he was like, I he kill. reset everything, right? He killed all the adults. Yeah. He killed all the gods. Then reshape all the gods in his. Uh, yeah. Then he was like, Oh, these three gods look cool. I'm gonna keep them in keep them here in my pocket, and then I'm gonna <laughs> let them out someday. Let them out soon. Soon, yeah, be, soon being like few weeks today, today, yeah. Uh, next week, next week, next week, yeah, yeah. yeah next week. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how cool would it be if the pre-release box was like a sarcophagus, and then the the pre is a god? Oh man! Oh. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So these three gods were like, okay, we're not, I'm not going to show you these three gods, and then he basically destroyed the world. And okay, it, it, it's basically the, he didn't destroy the world. He killed all the he killed all the adults. Yeah, and then he he uh he sort of like reset all the gods and yeah. then like mind wash them to take care of the kids, and then to basically do their bidding. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then they do Nicobola's bidding. Yeah, they do Nicobola's bidding. Um, without them knowing. Yeah, uh, uh-huh. you you gain this eternal reward where you get killed and after that you become a zombie and after that you mine. Uh, what's that? Unoptimium or something like that. Yeah. Uh, adamantium. I don't know. They 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 uh, mine something lah. Uh, what's what's that? The for blue it? color. The blue yeah, what, color. What's stuff? that blue color stuff? I don't know. Uh, L- Lazotep. 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 Yeah. Lazotep. Uh, okay. Not not as cool as adamantium, by the way. L- Lazotep. So, whatever. Uh, so they mine. They mine that stuff and all that. They they. What what is he doing with the Lazotep? We do, We still don't know. I right? I don't know. It's probably somewhere in the new story, but I haven't read it. It came out today, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, he will convert it into energon, 
and then we'll power a new Cybertron. What? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the Locust God was one of the uh, gods. This is basically the Matrix storyline, by the way. Yeah. They they ba- they use humans as batteries. Wait, what? Yeah. When when we do the story podcast, this is the parallel that I want to make. It's, I, I, it's, it's I, basically I, a Matrix. I didn't watch the Matrix. Uh oh, I'm man. Too, I'm too. I'm too young. Okay. We will. We'll, I'll get you to watch the Matrix, and now that, uh, we'll we'll do this again. Okay. Uh, you have to watch Matrix Part Two. That's where he explains where the universe is reset like a few thousand times. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay. Then we got a Scarab God. Uh, uh, Scarab God is five mana for five five. Not bad. It's all right. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses X life, and you scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. Uh, of course, if you control zero, then nothing happens, which is kind of sad. But for four mana, you can exile target creature from a graveyard, not just yours. Ooh. Uh, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a four-four black zombie. So it's eternalized. Yeah, it's eternalized that creature. Eternalize that creature. Sure. Yeah. Uh, then again, with dice, you put it back in your hand at the end step. That's a good EDH card. This is a fantastic EDH card. You play blue, black, control. I think in standard, you're definitely going to run one of this shit. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I don't see it. Yeah. I take back your ever seen. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, it's that's still 4-4. Four, four, that's yeah. going to happen for like one, one set. Yeah. And not even a, in a PPQ set. I'm going to take back your ever seen <laughs> anyway. They're going to do that in like FNMs and be like, haha. Yeah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, so Scarab God, I think Scarab God, legit. Legit. I, this is the sleeper. This is the one that is like Kalitas. This is the one that is... Was Kalitas underhyped? Yeah. Oh. Kalitas was sort of underhyped at the beginning. Oh. So yeah. Uh, but I feel, yeah, this, is, this, might, be, this might be one. Uh, and you can do this ability at any point of time. Oh yeah, it's the speed. Yeah, it's speed. Mm. It's not like the sorcery. Nowadays, all the cards say like, oh, you do this whenever you can cast an instant uh, or whenever you can do it as a sorcery. What is this? Herbstone? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Herbstone with gods. Uh, Scorpion God. Five mana for six, five. Whenever a creature with a minus one, minus one counter on it dies, draw a card. Ooh, sweet. Oh, that's good. Sweet. Uh, and then for three mana, you can put a minus one, minus one counter on a, another target creature. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, you can't put it on itself. Why because it on if itself? you put it on itself and then it dies, you get it back and then you draw another card. Oh. That's why you can't uh, put uh, it on uh, itself. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so, I I think Scorpion God, of the three gods, Scorpion God is like the weakest. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Well, yeah. I feel I f- feel that way. And you feel that way too. No, I don't. No. Okay. Let's move on to the other mythics. Uh, uh, the one that people are kind of... Um, Gizzing over? Yeah, Crested Sun Man. Oh, the Horse Tribal. Yeah, Horse Tribal. Horse Tribal. Yeah, because there are only three horses in um, in uh, standard. standard. Actually, there's four. You know what's the fourth one? Nightmare. Metallic Mimic. <sighs> three is inclusive of the Nightmare. Metallic okay. Mimic. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? There's a fifth one too. What? If you get Vizier of the Many Faces. That does, that's yeah. pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there any other clones in... in no. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are. No, no, huh? it's, it's stopped. Uh, Crested Sunmare. Other horses you control have Indestructible. They have that if you gain life at the end step, you get you uh, put a 5-5 five, five white horse creature token. It's not bad. I think yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Dice to our devastation. Yeah, dice to our is devastation, which is annoying. But uh, I, I still think it's good. Five mana for five five, and then with uh, you know, with some upside. Yeah. Eh. Hmm. It's okay. I don't know. I mean, Ooh. getting the life's gonna be hard. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the green color one, which uh, Danny just thinks is like insanely good. Wait, but, the uh, majestic. Yeah. Are you serious? Majestic Matriarch. Okay. Uh, Myriarch. Okay, so Power of is equal to twice the number of creatures you control. That's cute. So it starts off as 2 2. Okay. <laughs> so at the beginning of each combat, if you control a creature with flying, 
this game is flying out of turn. The same. This card sucks. This is basically Audric, but, but it only is. works on itself. Audric gave all your creatures, right? I, if I'm not wrong, Audric. Yeah, is yeah, like, it gives all your creatures. Is it? At the beginning of your Hunter Step gain. Uh, yeah, creatures you control gain first strike uh, until end of. What the hell? So, yeah, it gave all the other creatures. Uh, no, not all the other creatures. All the creatures, including himself. That is, you know, if that was not good enough, then how is Majestic Maria Rock that good? I don't know, man. I don't Maybe know. Danny is just smoking. No, Danny is playing 4D chess right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely the, uh, 4D chess. 4D chess. Uh, okay, then we have the legendary creatures that are mythic. Unesh, the Cryo Sphinx Sovereign. Uh, he gets to free stuff, no? Does he? Yeah, uh, but Sphinx Tribal, man. Sphinx, Sphinx Tribal. Tribal. Look at Sphinx. this. For, okay, so if you play something like, uh, what's what's that card? The Urza's Incubator? Okay. Urza's Incubator, then you name Sphinx, then this guy costs 4 mana. And then Sphinx spells you control, cause, uh, Sphinx, Sphinx spells you cast, cost 2 less to cast. So then it's minus 4. So all your Sphinxes are like 2 blue mana or 3 mana. That's okay. Good, right? That's okay. I guess your screen of the final word becomes two three uh blue blue tree. Yeah. That's alright. Uh that's alright, yeah. Uh when you whenever Unesh, Cryo Sphinx, or another Sphinx enters the battlefield under your control, reveal the top four cards of library and then after you split into two piles. Uh or opponent splits into two oh, piles no, and this then you is pick like, this is fact of fic. Fact uh, of fact fic, yeah. Which is great. I like this. This is fic. great, yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, that's Sphinx pretty of, good. Sphinx of Utun was damn good. Yeah, yeah. And now this is like, you know, for every Sphinx that you cast, you get that shit. Yeah, you this, get fact. This fake. is good. This is pretty and it damn gives, good. And it's like discount on Sphinxes too. Yeah, exactly. So you you know you run this out, and then you run the Scry Sphinx. Mm-hmm. Oh man! So Wait, just the Scry Sphinx. The one four mana for four four flyer. Four mana for oh yeah yeah. Then yeah, when yeah, you yeah, whenever yeah. you. What was it? Uh, whenever you scry? Uh, no, whenever you, whenever cycle, you discard a card, yeah. When you cycle or discard, you scry. You scry, yeah. Oh, this could... And for extra flavor, you can also put in Sphinx's Tutelage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sphinx's Tutelage is not a Sphinx enchantment, unfortunately. But I wish Sphinx. it was one. Wow, it's so yeah, it's got it. Sphinx, right? Yeah. It should be like... If the... If, if your... Oh, uh, yeah. If the card title has Sphinx... You know, it should it should follow like Final Fantasy. So it should be like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is like card name. Yeah. yeah. So it, uh, you may put a card with the name with the name Frog or Toad in it. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> but what if it's in Japanese? Not too bad. Uh, yeah, that's why the English and the Japanese cards don't mix, right? Yeah, they don't. <laughs> uh, Razakev, the foul-blooded. Oh, that's eight a good mana. EDH card. Yeah, so EDH. 8 mana for 8 tramp, uh, eight, 8 flying trample. Pay 2 life and then sack another creature. Search your library for a card oh, wait. and put that card into your hand. Isn't this just Diabolic Intent on a stick? Yeah. This is... uh, Well, this is more than Diabolic Intent uh, because you have to cast Razakev first. But the, yeah. the cool part is that once you cast Razakev, he is sort of like a free sack engine. Oh, which yeah. is very powerful... In in you know well, it's not free. You have to pay two life. You have to pay two life. Yeah, yeah. It's not exactly free, but you don't have to pay mana, which means that the minute you cast him, uh, and if you're uh, well, it sacrifice another creature. So, you know, if you got like creatures that die with a uh, certain ability, uh-huh. uh, then you know Razakev becomes really really good. But uh, and and you know, eight mana for a flying trample. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's got just, good stats. That's good. I like the comment here too. Flavor Wind is bigger than Crystal Bread and Kotopit. So, at least in that sense, he's stronger than both of them. <laughs> that because he's hardest to kill so far yeah. from Liliana. So, so yeah, Liliana's like going against, like going, uh, fighting all the bosses, right? In yeah. This thing. So, so this is like the the second hardest bosses. Yeah. So she the had to kill, boss. she killed Kotopet first, right? Yeah. Then Kotopet was a 6-6. Six, six. Then Crystal Brand. Uh, it, of course, in the storyline, she killed Gristlebrand uh, first. First, yeah. But like, yeah, you know, then you got Call the Bat, then you got Gristlebrand. Uh, then this Raza Kev. She, so she's got one more to deal with. So, so it's gonna be a nine nine. It's gonna be a nine nine. Yeah. That'd oh shit. <laughs> uh, but I think it's okay. It's just very okay. Uh, Nahab, 
the eternal, the red color legendary creature, a zombie minotaur warrior. That's a lot of yeah. That's a lot of uh, things. You might as well just put like crocodile, uh, crocodile sphinx. Yeah, just get a uh, shapeshifter if you want to. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can just put changeling guys. You it's every um every creature type, but uh, I, I like this card a lot. A flick three. And then at the beginning of your post combat main phase, you add three, uh, you add red mana to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. So your opponents. Uh, so yeah. That's how is this air? This is fantastic because you cast Nehab. Okay. And then you swing, and then your opponent doesn't block, or you swing. You know, you 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 try and make a like a favorable swing. Okay. You're gonna get red mana after that, which means that the card, the turn you cast Nehab is the also a turn that you can potentially cast more things. But doesn't have haste. It doesn't have haste. It's okay. It's okay. No, but you can swing with other creatures. Wait. We'll, we'll oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like oh yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. you build up like you turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, and then you just build up, and then you you know you swing face. Oh, uh, that's. That's, that's alright. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I I like this card a lot. I think this is going to be one of the uh, um, it's going to be a very good card. Well, definitely in limited. I'm not quite sure for standard, but yeah, limited is is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, we are going to look at the cycle of uh the last the last stuff except for Hazaret's undying fury. Because apparently Hazaret can't die. Uh, yeah. Well, Hazaret is the... You see, Hazaret is like Neo. He's the one. The one, the one, he's the, the one. Yeah. He, he's, the, he's the one that gets out of the cycle. He's the virus in the Matrix. You have not watched the Matrix, so this yeah, is... Yeah, I, I haven't watched that. the Matrix. Yeah, whatever. I thought Matrix was just like cyberspace. No, man. You gotta watch the Matrix. It's so good. Okay. So good. Uh, Oketra's Last Mercy... Uh, for three mana, sorcery speed, your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Lands you control don't untap during your next end step. I think this is pretty decent. It's definitely... It's playable. Decent. Yeah, it's playable. Uh, Kefnet's last word. I, I, can see the, I can see where this applies, uh, you know, against aggro decks. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm going to bring you down, especially against... Maybe not aggro decks, but against burn decks. Yeah, yeah. You like, know, they try to burn you out and then shit they're like that. I'm going to top deck this last lion boy, I'm going to smack you. And I'm like, and then, okay, no. last mercy. then they're out of card and you're like, no. <laughs> uh, you can gain, possibly gain a lot of life. Yeah, it's like Reno Jackson. Oh, yeah. We're going to be rich. <laughs> uh, Kefnet's last word, four mana, sorcery, gain control of target artifact, creature, or enchantment, lands you control the untap eh. during your next untap eh. step. I love that they don't untap the lands. Because they died. Yeah. They died. It. Oh, hey, yeah. It. Cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Flavor win. Flavor win? <laughs> what? Uh, I, oh, I want to see, I want to read all the uh, flavor text though. For Oketra's last mercy, is like, to, to the end, all Oketra did was for others. So nice. And I like yeah. that, uh, you know, she's uh, protecting people away from the sun. Mm. Damn. Then uh, Kefnet's last word is in his final moments Kefnet reached into the minds of those around him desperate for logic within the consuming uh, consuming chaos and um, there's no logic boy yeah there was this absolute <laughs> uh, Kefnet is like the weakest of all the gods yeah, he's a because, yeah the minute like Nicobolas uh, you know entered the plane he just like snapped his fingers and Kefnet died yeah, what? Kefnet went like, <laughs> what a loser, man! This guy yeah. sucks. He got like a, he got seizures and then he like fell onto the floor. It's like uh, that's that's shitty. <laughs> that's really shitty. Uh, Bontu's last reckoning, three mana. This one is oh so good. This is this so gas. Destroy all creatures. That's it. Yeah. And then lands you control the untap to the last. Bontu wanted only to be first among the god pharaoh's subjects. Ah, uh, sucker. Uh, you, just got, you just got cheated, son. Yeah, you got cheated. Uh, let's talk about Rona's Last Stand. This one, I think, pretty good. Okay, this is, okay, so this is right. This right. I feel it's either going to be extremely good or extremely, extremely shitty. bad. Yeah. Dude, two mana for 5-4. Five, two mana for 5-4. Five, Can you imagine you go like turn one? Turn one, you got the, uh, if you play a red-green land. Okay. Uh, you play, what's his name? 
the uh, Insider, Bloodlust Insider, and then turn to Rona's last stand. You tell me that that, that <laughs> isn't a good like what? one two combo. <laughs> what? Oh, so good. But it still dies to uh what Fatal, you call push. It? Fatal Push. Fatal uh. Push. Fatal Push. Uh create a five four green snake creature now that your lens don't con- uh lens don't untap. Ronas continue to fight until his last breath and even be- beyond. Uh Hazaret was fe- uh, Hazaret is female, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then of course we got Hazaret's Undying Fury Wall. This is uh, six mana. Why is it six mana? Garbage. Shuffle your library. Exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them without paying their mana cost. Lands you control don't untap during the next untap step. Okay, so right. Merely the first thing I thought when I saw this card was like R and D is what I Jesus is gonna like. This is what I thought you This is what I see in R and D. They're like, okay guys, we need to Eat those Marvel was a mistake. So let's make a shittier version of it. Then <laughs> For six mana, right? Yeah. Yeah, not six anyway. And then it doesn't... That worst part, let's make it... Six mana, I think it's still too good. Let's do something else. Then they make the, <laughs> the casting cost of everything at least five or below. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, let's make wait, other wait, cards wait. better so that this card yeah, looks yeah. shitty, right? Wait, 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 wait. This card is still too good. Let's make your lens do not tap. Yeah. Okay, this is shitty enough. Can it really? It's good, good, good. <sighs> so bad, so bad. Uh, let's go through the cycle of hours. Oh. Uh, I think... I don't. I I only want to talk about the um. Oh oh, that's our revelation. Okay, so our Wait, revelation what? I think is quite cool. Our revelation yeah, yeah, costs always... three less to cast if there are ten or more non-land permanents on the battlefield. Then destroy all non-land permanents. Hey, it's EDH. Uh, non-land though. So uh, you know, as long as it it requires quite a bit of work because like it's six mana. Cast. Yeah, like, like EDH. EDH, yeah, EDH, this will be fantastic. White, white, white. Tri- and I think even in standard, w- is pretty okay. Especially if you're uh, playing like mono white. Uh, you gotta uh, play like some white blue control or something like that. But triple white ref is it's okay. Yeah, actually, yeah. It's, it's pretty it's pretty okay. Wow, I can't believe that they're, they're, they're printing three mana roughs now. Yeah. They are printing, they've just printed two, three mana roughs. Thanks, Maro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hour of Eternity, 3 blue XX. Garbage. Exile target X creature cards from your graveyard and internalize them. Garbage. Yeah, garbage. Garbage. Uh, honor, Hour of Glory. This should have been an instant. Hour of Eternity should be an instant. And then it will be the blowout card. Yeah, yeah, And there yeah, is yeah. one card uh, in here, I believe. Uh, what is that? What? Imaginary Threats. This is a freaking blowout card. We're What's gonna talk about this in a while. Okay, okay. It's it's, it's crazy. Wait, let's finish our hours first. Yeah. Um hours, then the hour of glory, exile target creature. If that creature was a god, his controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards with the same name as that creature. Uh hmm. It's at the end, but but not so good. I don't know It's so weird It's like How it's come only the The hand You should go through The, the library as well man. Yeah For 4 mana uh, Maybe that would be Too un- ungodly <laughs> uh, I like the art though Like Look at Ronaldo's face He's like uh, How can a scorpion Kill a snake This doesn't make sense He's so spooked Look at his yeah. Look at his spooked face Yeah It's like God shock <laughs> <laughs> Now you see where the Where the scorpion Is holding Like Tickle Oh no. Kuchi kuchi ku ha kill you. Oh man. Uh Hour of Devastation. Oh, this one is this one's sweet. Uh for five mana, all creatures lose indestructible until end of turn. It deals five damage to each creature and each non bolas planeswalker. Do you know how good this is? Yeah, it's pretty good. This kinda wrecks everything. There's no planeswalker right now except for I think Liliana, the big Liliana. Okay. That can escape this or oh, uh Sorin. Who That's cares it. about Sorin? Yeah, and even Nahiri is like in danger. Nahiri, Sorin, and and uh, and Big Liliana. Uh, everything else dies. Yeah. Wait, Big J's? No, that dies. Yeah. Big J's also dies. Big J starts off at 4. Yeah. So bad. Oh, that's a good card. Uh, Hour of Promise. Here. Oh, that's a good card. That's what? a good card. Hour of, is, Hour yeah, of Promise. Hour of Promise. Uh, this is something that I think we'll see modern play. 
And if you want to get get your four copies at least, search your library for up to two land cards. Land cards, not land, two basic no land base, cards. Yeah, it's good shit. Then put them on the battlefield. If you control three or more deserts, then you create two, two, two black zombie creatures. Oh, this is a good card. This is a very good card. Can you card. imagine you turn five? Okay, you, you play some stuff, right? Mm-hmm. You turn three, use that new land, land ram spell, put land on your field. Then mm-hmm. you turn for our promise. Search for two Shroud of the Forsaken Gods. Oh then yeah. Turn turn five, you drop another land, you have ten mana, you drop Ulamok. Ulamok. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh <laughs> Okay, so then we have the um we have the cycle of defeats. Gideon's defeat. So they all all of these are like very specifically uh <laughs> Who specifically, uh, you know, targets uh, the planeswalkers? So Gideon's defeat is exile target white creature that's attacking or blocking. If it was a Gideon planeswalker, you gain five life. Well, that's quite cute. That's okay. Uh, Jason's defeat counter target blue spell. If it was a James planeswalker, scry two. Uh, the two mana for it is not bad. Yeah, uh, one blue is pretty okay. Yeah, but Gainsay is so much better. Gainsay is like that's one also, blue for counter true. target blue spell. So the, I this is never gonna see. Uh, the light of day in in modern. Yeah. Oh no no no! Oh it, uh, sorry, Gainsay is two mana as well. Sorry, my bad. Oh okay. So this maybe you might see this in modern. Maybe who knows? Replace replaces Gainsay. Uh, Liliana's defeat one mana one black mana. Uh, but at sorcery street destroy target black creature or black planeswalker. If that permanent was a Liliana planeswalker controller loses three life. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Liliana, I'm not quite sure. She, I know she's like laying down, but it kind of looks like she's standing up. And it looks like her hips are broken. Nice. And it doesn't look like, you know, she's she, she's defeated at all. You can still see like the sternness in her face. Yeah. As opposed to all the other as ones. like Jace being like blasted. Yeah, the whole mind she, blasted. She, she just got wrecked. Yeah, then Gideon was like, oh, okay, I, you know, you're touching me. I and mean, then Chandra is like in in fetal position, crying. Then Lisa is literally Lisa being is like being choked. Yeah, it's like tentacle, the tentacle stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, then we have Chandra's defeat. Do you do you fight damage to target red creature or red planeswalker? If it's a Chandra planeswalker, discard a card. Then you can draw a card, which is not bad. Cycle. It's all right. Yeah, it, it, actually, this is pretty good. One mana for oh, five instant. damage. Oh okay. Yeah, I, speed, I didn't man. see that. Okay. Uh, then Nisa's defeat. Oh man, this is the one I like. Destroy target forest. Whoa. Green enchantment or green planeswalker. If that permanent was a Nisa uh, planeswalker, just, uh, just draw a card. Hey, that's pretty good. I like this one because destroy target forest. This is like the... Uh, oh, this is so like, good. Like, like the destroy... What? Yeah, no, it's just destroy target forest. This is uh, the, the beginning of Ponza. Oh. In, in Wait, standard. Wait, what? Forest? Three mana, three, yeah, I know. It has to be a forest, right? But uh, yeah. yeah, can you not, imagine like not three every deck destroy? plays forest. Not every deck plays a forest, but uh, the ones that do, okay, better watch out. Uh, okay, <laughs> so, uh, let's talk all, all about the rest of the cards. Anything that you wanna, anything that you wanna bring up for all the rares? Let's talk about the mm, rares first. Let me check. Uh, solemnity is pretty good. Yeah, solemnity surprisingly is um, I don't know. It, it might catch people off guard. Uh, no, know. it's not good. Everyone's gonna expect this shit, and then after you're just gonna like uh bring in fragmentize, right? You no, know, fragmentize only deals with artifacts. Yes. Eh? No, no fragmentize. Wait, no, it deals does. With no, it deals with enchantment, right? Frag- That's why people play against this, isn't it? Do they? Yeah, I remember they do. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Do uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, source, uh, target artifact or enchantment with mana cost. Four or less. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I like. Also, a uh, swarm intelligence. Swarm intelligence was that. Whenever you cast an instant oh. sorcery, you may copy that spell, and you then you may. Choose. This is like, I remember the good days when I was actually good at the game when I was playing goggles. Hey, this can replace goggles. Man, but seven mana. Dude. Yeah, that's a lot. Seven mana it is a way too much. It's not just a lot. It's way too Maybe much. Maybe EDH playable. Uh, <laughs> no. Then I'll okay. I do this, and then I will play. Um, what's that? What's that card? Prosperity. For oh, like yeah. a million. <laughs> yeah. 
or like stroke of genius or something like that. A stroke of genius you for like half your deck and st- of that the other yeah. one. Or a stroke of genius yourself. Uh freeing sanity is one that I like. Which one where is like that? The the one where it's three mana, it's enchant oh. enchant uh player. And then at the beginning of each end step, each end step, uh enchanted player, you know, you 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 mill the guy X cards where X is the number of uh, cards, cards that went to the graveyard from anywhere this time. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. So if you can start milling him like X number of cards, then he starts milling X number of more cards. Even if you like kill his stuff. That's like one. If you kill his stuff, he starts milling cards anyway. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty Oh, good. another card I like, very especially is... Uh, Common of uh, Hailfire? No. No, Amid Eternal. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Eternal. Oh man, oh, that's so good. He's got three mana for five five, Whoa. and then he's got a flick three. The main drawback is that whenever, uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell and put a minus one minus one counter on Amit Eternal, yeah, so, so it dies they, to grasp. Yeah, it dies to grass or darkness. But doesn't a lot of you know doesn't everything just die to grass? Yeah, or I darkness? think a lot of three mana creatures die to grass or darkness anyway. Mm. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, remove all minus one minus one counters from it. So I'm I'm pretty sure that there are ways that you can sneak this guy in. Can yeah. you imagine like you go? It, it goes down to like a two two, and then you use the uh the the guy that makes uh two power creatures uh, unblockable. Oh, and then you oh, swing oh, it, and oh. it becomes a five five again. Uh, no, you have to deal combat uh, damage. Yeah, you have to deal combat damage. So yeah. Uh, there's another there's another mythic here. Uh, uncage the menagerie. It's a mythic? So bad. Yeah, it's a mythic. How can they make it a mythic? It's so bad. Uh, further down. There. Oh, what's a mythic down there? There's the green, green X, and then search your library for up to X creature cards with different names that each have converted mana cost X. Reveal them and put into your li- uh, put them into your hand. hand. You don't even put it onto the battlefield. Wait, that's so bad. It's, yeah, it is. Oh, that's so garbage. It's insanely bad. Like, you have to find the exact mana cost, by the way. Oh so, God. like, what combination, honestly speaking, what combination of creatures could you just put onto the battlefield with, like, that? You know, so you like, could put all the gods in. Oh, yeah, you could. Like you put Kefnet, you could put Kefnet, the same, but you put it into your hand. It's not even onto the battlefield. Yeah. Okay. See, this is the kind of card, right? I, you see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to your step because when I, the moment I read the card text, I'm be like, okay, I'm not gonna continue read. I'm not, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna think of the possibilities this, yeah. because the possibilities are probably gonna be bad. So this card is bad. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. They reprinted. Uh, what's that? Uh, right next to it is the Chaos Maw. Just a reprint. Oh, so bad. Uh, it's not really a reprint. They reprinted a really bad version of Crater Hellion. Oh. So bad. Crater Hellion dealt four damage to each creature. That was, that was legit. That was like really kill everything. Oh, but it had echo though. It had echo. Who cares? It had echo, but it's a six six for six mana for a six six, and then kill everything else on the battlefield. Oh, that's sweet. That's it's alright, I guess. Mm. I don't like. Very bad. Torment of Hellfire. How about Torment of Hellfire? How do you find it? It's uh, the one um, Black Black X is a sorcery. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Unless that player this Yeah, so you either discard a card, sack sack a non-land permanent, otherwise you lose three life. I am undecided on this card. Very undecided. Yeah, and the thing is, you can choose. You can choose to just take the damage, take, 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 take the damage until the point where okay, then I start sacrificing stuff. Yeah, so, mm. I don't know. It's not like forcing your opponent to sacrifice things. That's the problem. Yeah, it's not. It's not for, Okay, so it's not forcing your opponent to either sacrifice another permanent or discard a card, but they could also lose three life. If the if the losing three life wasn't an option, like it was only an option after they sacrificed sacrifice that. Then this card is fantastic. Then this card is broke. Yeah. But Bec- besides that, no. Mm. I agree. I, I, you know, I, I think, uh, I, I don't know, you know, it, it, it could have been broken a little bit. Yeah. Like really, it could have been like a little bit more broken. But it's not. Honestly speaking. Sad. Sad face. RNG, why you do this? RNG. Uh, Okay, let's let's move on. Let's uh there are some cards that I think are crazy limited bombs. 
Oh yeah, yeah. There are a lot okay, of uncommon well, goods. What was the what was that that crocodile snake warrior thing? Whatever, not crocodile snake warrior. The ah uh, tenacious hunter, tenis, tenacious H. Um, uh, as long as a creature has a minus one minus one counter on it, tenacious hunter has vigilance and death touch. Oh, that's all right. What the hell, man? It's pretty good. This is yeah, it's pretty. That's just pretty good. Oh. Also, uh, uh, Firebrand Archer. That's a... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, this oh, is the card yeah. I'm really excited about. And this oh, is yeah. just a common. Uh, this is uh, harking back to the days of Thermal Alchemist. I'm going to rebuild that Thermal Alchemist. Are you going to have like eight copies now? Eight uh, copies of Thermal yes, Alchemist. Yes, exactly. Oh, and that's, all the, that's the only creatures in, uh, in, your, in your deck. Eight Thermal Alchemists. They used to be... Oh, and then Bedlam Revelers. Yeah. That's it. Oh, but so oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy. I can, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to make it. I can taste it. And this one, like, okay, so fine, it cannot deal damage on its own. So if you're drawing blanks, like, it can't deal damage. Yeah. But, you know. Yes, that's why it has 2 1. Yeah, but that's why it's 2 1, and then it can attack. So you can actually deal damage on its own. It doesn't need to tap. So, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. now the okay. So now the okay. So the the thing with the Thermal Alchemist deck, right? Having two on the field is when it starts getting out of control. Yeah. When you have eight copies in your deck, getting two getting on two the on the field is, is a lot easier. Yeah. It's way easier. Oh, there was this card that we, uh, I think we overlooked. The Imminent Doom. How do you find that? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, four mana for. Is it here? Where is it? No, no. Further up. Further up. The Imminent Doom, after oh. Chandra's defeat. Yeah. Uh, uh, it oh, enters the battlefield with a doom counter on it then doom. you cast uh, you know whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of doom counters on imminent doom it deals that much damage to the target creature or player then put a doom counter on imminent doom so yeah that's pretty janky yeah that's very janky yep <laughs> can, we not, can we not talk about this card uh I want to build around this card, man. Three mana. That's so janky. This goes into... You know what? This this replaces... Uh, what's his name? Um, this replaces... This uh, card replaces... Uh, Fever Visions in the Thermal Alchemist deck. Wait, does it? Yeah. Oh, I guess it kind of does. No, that that's still too janky. No. Actually, Fever uh, Vision is still better. Yeah, you, draw. you get to draw cards, man. You get to draw cards. That's the important part. You, you get to draw, draw cards. cards. And, and there's so many me. like mid range decks nowadays, right? Like if you drop this on turn three, then like they're, they're screwed because they can't they can't go faster than faster than that. Uh okay. Any other card that that uh that you know pops out to you? The one that I want to say is. Uh, imaginary threats this card is such a blow card you build your entire deck around this this is like the uh, do not pass trial of solidarity if okay. you're drafting you do not pass imaginary threats oh where is it where is it no no it's in the uncommons it's after the riddle form there we go oh found it found it okay yeah. whenever you cast a non-creature spell you may have riddle. Uh, no, sorry. Counter target opponent. Uh, uh, no, creatures target opponent controls attack this turn if able. So it's instant speed for mana. Okay. Then during that player's next untap step, they don't untap their creatures. Whoa. 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 Wait, wait, right? wait. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty jank. That's pretty. That's that's damn good. Like you force them to attack, and now on the backswing, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to block favorably. And then on the backswing, you die. Whoa. This is 4 mana, I win the game. And it's yeah, cycle. cycling. In case you don't win the game somehow. Yeah, if you don't, yeah in case you don't win the game. Uh, so, yeah, pretty good. Oh, this is a good. Vile Manifestation, also another pretty damn good card. It's uh, get plus 1, plus 0 for each card with cycling in your graveyard. I, so you just play all, all right. the cycling. No, dude. This is alright. For 2 mana, you get 0, 4. It's alright. Oh, I'm, I'm not convinced. This card is, convinced this card is great. Um, the other card is, uh, that I like a lot is Riddle Form this one oh, 2 oh, mana yeah, for yeah. enchantment uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell it becomes a 3-3 three, three flyer and then for 3 mana you can scry 1 hey it's uh, you don't have to tap it Myth Realized yeah it's Myth Realized with upside with like a lot of upside 
not kind of yeah now milf realized can become a very big creature yes uh, what else okay uh, there's really nothing else Ooh, that st- tr- strategic planning the strategic planning uh, no I just like the art yeah looks very goofy <laughs> <laughs> I th- it looks like Jace is is scolding uh, Nick, uh in a very goofy manner <laughs> it's, who drew this why are they crouching they are so far away from Nico Bolas's temple who drew this who's this Matt Stewart Matt Stewart dude Matt Stewart is Matt Stewart drew a lot of uh, a lot of cards a lot of nice looking cards but this card it looks so troll that uh, the the top comment is like, I swear it looks like they're playing rock paper scissors, <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty much the strategy that they're gonna use anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and guess what they lose. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, scissors lizard Spock, rock paper scissors lizard Spock. Uh, really not other, you know, there's there's not a lot of other cards that I unsummon like to highlight. The other one that I I like is uh, Oblis Spider. This card is just insane. Oh yeah, whenever Oblis Spider deals combat damage to a creature, put a minus minus one counter on that creature. Oh yes. Then whenever you put a minus, put one or more minus minus one counters on a creature, you each dream. opponent loses one. Wait, that's dream. just. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's a one four. It's big. It is big and fat. So yeah, that's alright. I like. I like it a lot. How about for the new uh, split cards? Oh yeah, that's a uh, what's that? Claim to fame. Claim to fame. Oh my god. Uh, s- they they're gonna ban uh, Death Shadow. Death Shadow. I don't think they leave claim to fame with Death Shadow. Well, they didn't ban Devoted Druid. Well, that's true. Or they didn't ban uh, what's that? Uh, Vizier, Vizier of, of Remedies. Yeah. yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, it's clearly a mistake. Or Driven to in Despair is pretty good. Uh yeah, this one is this this one is okay. Like two mana, then they gain trample. Creatures you control gain trample, and then when it deals combat damage, you draw a card, uh, which is pretty damn good. Despair though, is uh, well, if you can go driven and despair at the same turn, whoa, man, the amount of card advantage is insane. I think you just win the game. Yeah, you almost just win the game. Uh. What's that? Um, I I feel okay. The other card that I like a lot is like refuse to cooperate. Yeah, because both of them are instant, so you can do like oh, shenanigans. That's, yeah, that's you can true, do like true. really really fun shenanigans, uh, especially if your opponent like casts a Nico Bolas, then oh. refuse deals uh to target spells controller equal to the spell converted mana cost, and then uh cooperate is like copy target instant or sorcery. You may choose new um targets for it. So yeah, oh, it's kind of fun. So you can play refuse and in response, you can it's no, you, you can't you you hit can, the yeah, so first. Yeah. Yeah, okay, no, but if you have a refuse and a cooperate, oh, if you had another refuse in the graveyard, refuse to cooperate in the graveyard, then you know you refuse and then you cooperate again, and you deal like two times the amount of damage. That's pretty so funny. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't seen this reason to believe. Oh, this is a rare, one blue mana's cry tree. Legit. Uh, that's like that's that's okay actually. Then believe, believe. Yeah, we finally have a believe card. Uh, look at the top four card. Look at the top card of your library. You may put it into the battlefield if it's a creature card. If you don't, put it into your hand. Five uh, five mana draw a card. Five mana ulamok. I guess that's why you have reason. I get it before. Yeah, that's why reason to believe. Believe! Oh, oh this, wow, this, believe is actually really believe. Believe, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> believe. Like literally believe! And then you wait, flip. Wait, and no. wait, I want to play this deck. This is. Yeah. This is. Another reason to believe deck. Yeah. Oh, I can play blue white, uh, blue green ramp. Yeah. Because you go like turn turn one reason, and then you draw the first card. So you put the creature on the th- uh, third card. Is that enough? Yeah. Turn two, so you draw that first card. Turn two, you put a ram. So you go from turn two to turn four. Uh, you draw it. No, you yeah. draw. You draw all the cards. Yeah. Damn it! But you can go reason to believe in like one one. Yeah, yeah. Suit. Dude, this is a good ramp. Yeah, I like. I like this card. Oh shit, yo, yo! I, like this, I think ramp is legit now. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, this is a good. reason. Reason is very. Uh, what scry three, dude? Scry three. Good. You get to like you. You know. Yeah, Scry Tree is 
a lot better than Scry 1 3 times. <laughs> just, just say. Uh, Abandoned Sarcophagus is another card that I like to highlight. This one's... Uh, you don't. may cast non-land cards with cycling from your graveyard. Oh, wait, wait, this one. And yeah, then, yeah, 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 if a card you control... If your card with cycling would be put into the graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, then you exile it instead. So, what they want you to do is to cycle that card, gain some extra value off of it, then cast that card. Man, I would I would love to do this during uh limited. Oh yeah. And I think, you know, even in standard it'll be it will be quite fun to do. But in standard it's very mana intensive. Not very likely. Yeah, not very likely. Yeah. Uh what's the other one? Um oh Hollow One. Hollow One is also gonna be very, very interesting. Uh people are saying, Okay, turn one, cycle two street raves and they have that cast hollow one for one mana. I don't know a likely story, but <laughs> I don't know. it can be. It can you know dreams can come true. You can because on turn two you can do this. Turn two you street rave. Okay. One mana cycling, and oh, then, then cast the yeah. hollow one. And in standard you can go turn three cast this guy. And well, then draw two cards okay. I guess what makes it playable in Living End is that it's yeah cycling on its own. It's got cycling on its own, which yeah. means that it can die, and after you bring it back. So, uh, this is. You know, Hollow One's gonna be pretty damn good. Because, because you can have like a creature on the battlefield to do stuff, to block uh prematurely. It's gonna be good on the right deck. Yeah. The very right deck. This is Hollow One is is damn is is good. It's yeah, broken. It, it is okay. Yeah. Uh yeah, cause they reprinted Monolith. Monolith. Monolith, yeah. Which is nice. That's cool. Uh and the whole cycle of deserts. Every single non-basic land in this set is a desert. Well, pushing the desert yeah, subtype very well, hard. Except for Crypt of the Eternals. But whatever. Yeah. The rest of it is deserts. Desert, 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 desert. And they got coloured deserts too. I think so they're trying too hard to push it. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah, I, I think you have to. Way too hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the deserts are fine. They're all very okay. They're okay. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we're done. Are we? Yeah, we are. Anything else you want to bring up? Not really. This this set in the whole, it hasn't really... St- I want to draft it. I want to draft it. I want to seal. No, Because wait. I want my freaking 5-5 five, five hexproof uh, striped river winder, even though it costs 7 mana. Yeah. I definitely want to play with my obelisk spider because I want to drain my opponent out and with nest of scarabs, like just mess him up. You know, yeah. All these are like uncommon cards. I I wanna you know I wanna test out the the imaginary threats, huh. uh, you know, how good this card is because I think it's insane, you know, uh, so yeah, I I I'm excited. Yeah. I I think, uh, the limited is still gonna be it's still gonna be fun. Especially yeah. when you think about it in the, the first set. You're not gonna get a lot of minus one, minus one counters. Okay. I think. You're not gonna get like the cartouche and trials. Oh and no. Stuff, right? I'm gonna miss the cartouches, man. No. Those cartouches can go eat a dick. What? <laughs> like seriously. Because everybody just like if you didn't open it, like you are screwed. Because that's those are first pick cards. And then if you didn't open it then too bad. Well, not really. I got I got like two trials. I got trials of solidarity and trials of zeal the uh, same. In, a tra- in the same pack, and then you no, have to buy pass no, it no, off. I got trials of solidarity, trials of zeal, Katush, the green Katush and the red Katush, all in the same draft, and they will pass to me. Oh, except, man, the soli- except for the solidarity. The solidarity I open myself. Because your, your opponent on your left don't know how to play Magic the Gathering. His name is Joshua Tan. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Joshua, you never pass the solidarity. No, no, he did, no, no, he didn't pass the solidarity. I opened. Oh, solidarity. you opened solidarity. Yeah. Okay, he passed me everything so, else though. Yeah, no, no good, no good. He he, he did wreck me though. He did wreck you. He was the only one who wrecked me that draft. Oh, okay. Yeah, I imagine. Lol. I imagine. Okay, uh, we are going to end off here. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Thanks for, um, yeah, tuning in. Uh, remember, every week you can find new episodes on pound9podcast dot com, yes. mtgcast.com dot uh, iTunes. Uh, you can also find us. Where can you find us? On Twitter. Twitter 
Ad pa on Apple well, Podcast. Face- no, Facebook. Oh, Facebook wait. first, YouTube. Oh, fi- Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, at Power 9 Podcast. Uh, and then you can also find us on Twitter, at Power 9 Podcast. The 9 is a number 9. You can find myself at The Asian Judge. You can find Alfian at. Description YN. And then uh, you can also find us on Twitch. We talk a lot about Twitch during our. Yes. Uh, and YouTube. Podcast, yeah. So. Uh, do tune in twitch.tv slash the Asian Judge or twitch.tv slash Grey Ogre Games every Tuesday nights and Wednesday nights. Uh, what else? What else am I? What was we? Um, that's it, right? That's, that's it. it. I don't know. I, I, I my my mind is very dead today. Yeah, same here. I feel like I got mind mind wiped by Nicol Bolas or something. Oh yeah. You think you Jace? I'm Jace. You think you're the Jace this day. Even, not even close. Hey. All right. Uh, so for myself and Alfia, we are signing off. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. See ya. Ciao.